It's a shame none of the gameplay takes place in that little uh, holiday resort place they were at Whoa. just then. That looked like an interesting place. I'm not as young as I used to be. Like it would have been fun to explore. As opposed to the jungle. Yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna be wrong, the jungle is fine too. Alright, I, un I understand they're making you walk slow here, just so, so you can hear a bit of the Sully and Drake dialogue. Here we go, we can run again. Which is okay when you first complete the game, but since I've completed this game over like 20 times now, it's kind of uh, a bit tiring. Like, I, I almost know this dialogue, like half, you know, I almost know all of the dialogue off the top of my head. Here we go, treasure by here. I know where most of the treasures are in this game. I've collected them a few times. I, I know, so I know where most of them are. I'm not going to attempt to collect them all. Like, I'm not going to go out of my way to get any. So if I, like, come across a treasure, which is like a few centimeters to my left or right, I will go and get them. I have a cutscene coming up. Well, I don't get it. According to this, we're right on top of the mark. Maybe you're not reading that thing right. Let me see it. No, this is the place. There's nothing here, Nate. Oh, the goddamn dead end. Easy, Sully. Just relax. Let's take a look around. I will be completing Uncharted 2 and 3, by the way. Uh, I will also be completing them on Crusher mode. And I always thought the way that Drake jumps is kind of weird. Like, when he's platforming, it looks okay, but when he's just jumping around, when you just make him jump on non-platforming sequences, it kind of looks a bit weird. Well, I thought I just saw a black spot on the screen there. Hope my TV isn't massing up. And there's a treasure on the left, on the platform on the left there. I'm not going to bother getting that though. Like I said, can't be bothered to get the ones out of my reach. So, uh, what was I? Yeah, about the PC. So I finally built a, a computer. Um, I'll get I'll get more into bragging about that later when I do a, a let's play of a PC game. But now I've actually got one. I've realised there's not really any let's plays. There's not any. There's not really any PC games I want to do a let's play of. For the most part, it's just like a few. Um, horror games like Amnesia, like that's the obvious famous one. And of course you got SCP-087. Well, there's, multi there's multiple SCP games, and then of course there's Slender as well. But I'll probably only do those let's plays of the those games later on, like ha around Halloween time. That's like a Halloween themed uh, like let's plays, let's say. Another cutscene. What a warm and homey place, huh? <laughs> well, not quite what you were expecting, huh? Yeah. Where's all the damn gold? Yeah, this place was picked clean centuries ago. No good limey pirate. No, it wasn't Drake. Check this out. Looks like the Spanish got here before he did. <laughs> what the hell, Sully? Nate, I'm not looking for a lousy piece of tin. I'm up to my eyeballs in debt. I was really counting on this one. Too many big bar tabs in Lima, I guess. <laughs> that and, well, just a few bad deals. Yeah, well, I always told you to stay away from the bad guys. And the bad girls. Yeah? Look who's talking. What's that supposed to mean? That reporter? I saw the way you were eyeing her. Elena? Please. I snuffed any chance with her the second we ditched her on that dock. <laughs> All's fair in love and war, kid. Uh, and what if you can't tell the difference? Then, my friend, you are in big trouble. The Spanish. Here's a little fun fact. You can smash those uh, pots. I'm not sure if much people know about that. I, I didn't find out about it until like later on. 
Like, I, it took me multiple playthroughs to find out you could smash those pots. And I would also just like to say, Sully and Drake so would have been screwed if those explosive barrels weren't behind this statue thing. There's actually multiple moments in the Uncharted series, I'll point them out as we go along, where Sully and Drake just make a wild guess and they would have, like, just... Like, they could have been... They might have... They almost, like, committed suicide. Like, I'll, I'll point them out and I'll explain what I mean when we get to them. There's a few of them in this game. And like I said, playing this through this, like, little tomb section is okay on your first few playthroughs. But after completing this, like, a, a million times... It's kind of tedious because of it's you know it's slow paced and and all that. I don't mind doing the puzzles again. The puzzles are okay. And there's the really little moments which just bug you that you notice after completing the game multiple times, like this right now. See, you can't move and you just gotta wait for you gotta wait for the door to crush that little trolley thing. And you can't move. You just gotta wait for it to get crushed and then it knocks Drake back a bit. This looks familiar. I think there's something in Drake's journal about this. Okay, press select, open up the journal. Yeah, there it is. Looks like this thing is some kind of lamp or brazier. See if you can light it. So, after all your bitching about the cigar, now it comes in handy, huh? I, I like that little line, by, by the way, there. About the bitching about the cigar line. I like that. It, it kind of helped. It's like the two lines. It's one of the lines which make uh, the relationship between Drake and uh, what's his name, Sully. Seem a bit more, a bit more real, I guess we could say. Now what? All right, this is the first instance where it's kind of ridiculous how much, how far Drake can jump. Oh, hopefully we'll come across some moments as well where the cl like I mentioned this in my review, but sometimes Drake, he jumps off into the like complete op, well, not the complete opposite. Sometimes. When you jump at a ledge, he's just he just does not grab onto the ledge and you fall to your death. And I swear to God, I've had multiple moments where he's just like literally like the game glitched and he fell through the ledge, and it's like really really dr drove me up the wall. Like it has really got to me those moments like that. Like they, they are really frustrating. I don't really understand the logic behind these doors. Why does the fire make the doors close? There's got to be some weird mechanism behind them, I guess. Oh, here we go. First I have a puzzle of the game. Personally, I wouldn't count shooting the fire to make the fire like go into the logs and burn down the door. I wouldn't count that as a puzzle. Or shooting the explosive barrels. Wait, I recognize these symbols. I don't even need to look in the journal for this. I know, I know the order. I like, I know all of the puzzles. I, do, I, I never need to look in this journal. I was actually there's one puzzle in the library towards uh, like halfway through the game that I need to look in the journal at. But every single other puzzle I know. Another one of those things which kind of slow down the game and bug me. Is this like these little cutscenes where you, you, you can't do anything like right now, you gotta wait for the blocks to move up before you can start moving again. And I'll explain the puzzle to those of you who haven't played the game before as well in a minute. Just in case somebody out there is like wondering how exactly do you do this puzzle. I mean like I mentioned in my review, the puzzles in this game are just self explanatory. The journal tells you exactly what to do. The order of these See? See the numbers represent in what order you have to hit the symbols, and the symbols are the panels. There we go. This is the last one. Puzzle over. I do wish the puzzles were a bit uh, more difficult. Like it's always satisfying completing a good puzzle. You know, you get like a really good sense of uh, satisfaction whenever you, you complete a challenging puzzle in a game. Like some of the puzzles in the Saw games were good. Like, that's one thing I don't like about the Soul like games. A lot of the so-called puzzles are just mini-games. Like, the circuit... Well, yeah, the circuit board mi mini-game and the gear mini-game and all that stuff. For the most part. Nope. Oops. I just pressed circle on accident. And although he lands in water, he dies anyway. I know the water is shallow and then, like... It gets, well, not shallow when you, uh... 
uh, hit this button over here now, but that water still looks pretty deep to me. I don't really understand why you can survive that for. Okay. I wanted to jump in here. It's a shame. Instead, he grabbed onto the ledge. Okay, I think there's another treasure on the right here. Another treasure. Here we go. Silver llama. This is another one of those moments by here is like. Sully and Drake both would have been so screwed if it weren't for these conveniently placed explosive barrels. And also, if Sully was standing right on the other side of that door when I shot the barrels, he would, I, I'm pretty sure that would have killed him. A little explosion there. Okay, another one of those painfully tedious moments, which are tedious once you've completed the game so many times. Sully takes a while. Uh, this bit's pretty awesome. This little uh, chase sequence, let's call it. This looks safe. There's actually quite a lot of moments in the Uncharted series where you gotta run away from sort of, from like some sort of collapsing structure, like the rooftops of that mansion in the third game. Okay, now we got scene coming up. And I'm pretty sure rolling up the stairs is a lot faster than walking and jumping up the stairs. But unfortunately, right now, the game's not letting me roll since it's preparing me for a cutscene. Oh, man. The temple must have been built around this. Around what? A statue. gold statue. A huge gold statue. And look here, these people, they're worshipping the damn thing. At least, I think they're people. Of course. Was that the first oh, door shadowing of the, the golden end of the man. Game? Sully, it wasn't a city of gold. It was this. It was a golden idol. Man, can you imagine what that thing would be worth now? Look over here. Tracks. I bet the Spanish dragged it out on cut logs. <laughs> We're 400 years late for this party. So the trail's cold. Yeah, it looks that way. Son of a bitch. Unless... Unless what? We follow the tracks. <laughs> <laughs> 